morning, GMS. I'm Brianna. And I'm, my name is Ellie. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of February 24th. This month's root value for February is compassion. Compassion means sympathy and concern towards others. Think of a way you could be compassionate today. Greenwood Little League registration is going on now through March 1st online at www.greenwoodbaseball.com. For registration, questions, or for any more information, please reach out to Nick Swab at nickswab10 at hotmail.com. Believe it or not, yearbooks are still on sale. The cost is $35. Visit yearbo yearbookforever.com to order one. A link is also available on the GMS homepage. Hurry up and get one before the prices go up or before they run out. Sports Physical Night will be on May 27th from 6 p.m. through 8 p.m. in the High School aux Auxiliary Gym. A physical is $20. During the month of February, students are asked not to walk or bike to school due to the weather. Greenwood Lassie League is now open for girls 4 through 19 years old. Inter inter interested in softball, visit GreenwoodLassieLeague.org for details on the designer purse, bingo, and other important dates. Now let's go to the interview of this week, Top Trending, GMS Roll, and the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody. Hi, I'm Lily Rollings, and today we're here with Miss Baker. How are you, Miss Baker? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, in my spare time, I like to go to movies with my children. I like to go eat out with them, and I like to go for hikes in the park. Um, I have six children. Uh, one of them is in Greenwood High School, one's at IUPUI, and the other four are all grown up. Why did you choose to be a math teacher? Well, I chose to be a math teacher um, because I worked in adult education before I was a teacher. Actually, I started helping people with language arts, but more people needed help with math. So I started helping people with math, and that caused me to go back to school and learn more math myself. And then after I worked with adults for a while, I decided I wanted to work with middle schoolers. Cool. Uh, if you could choose any other subject to teach, what would it be and why? Well, it would be environmental science because, number one, I have a science degree from Purdue University in natural resources and environmental science, and I love the outdoors. I love to go to the state parks. I love to hike. So that would be my very... Uh, Another thing I would like to teach. Another thing I would like to teach is po uh, grammar of poetry. I love to read poetry. I love to teach people how to write poetry and how to write short stories. How many years have you been teaching for? I've been teaching at GMS for five years. This is my fifth year, but before I came to GMS, I worked at the Brown County uh, Career Resource Center helping in adult education. What is your biggest classroom pet peeve? My biggest classroom pet peeve has to be talking while I'm talking and then tapping and drumming while I'm talking. Uh, but another pet peeve I have is that really, really upsets me when I hear kids say, uh, I'm too stupid, I'm dumb, because everybody can keep learning. That makes me feel really sad that somebody would say that about themselves. Cool, now back to the studio. Hello and welcome to Top Trending, where we discuss the latest trends of the week. I'm Eva Dean, and let's get started with number three, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. The new Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey movie came out on February 7th and features Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn after an explosive breakup with the Joker. While being chased by all of the city's biggest criminals, she meets three other women, Huntress, Black Canary, and Renee Montoya, who agree to help her out. The movie was, was previously named Birds of Prey, but after it wasn't doing well in box office, they renamed it to Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. What DC character would you like to see get there on movie next? Number 2, Brayden Lawrence's Target Birthday Party. While most kids her age held their parties at trampoline parks or even at their own home, that wasn't enough for this little girl from Atlanta. She wished to have her 8th birthday party at their local Target. The manager was surprisingly cool with it and even printed all of the kids' name tags while their parents bought them uniforms. They had a scavenger hunt to find objects around the store, but then put them back on the shelves because that's what the employees would have to do. Would you like to have your birthday at Target? Number 1. The Dunk Contest 
Every year, the NBA hosts a weekend known as the All-Star Weekend, which includes a rookie game, a skills competition, and a dunk contest, and an all-star game with players that fans vote for. This year's dunk contest has been very controversial, as Derek Jones Jr. took home the trophy when many people believe Aaron Gordon deserved it, as Gordon had dunked over Taco Fall, the tallest man in the NBA, standing at 7 feet and 5 inches. People are saying that the contest was supposed to end up as a tie, but one of the judges, Dwayne Wade, a former player for the Miami Heat, messed it up purposely, giving Aaron Gordon a lower score than he was supposed to get. People believe this is because Wade and Jones was Wade was Jones' former teammate and wanted to see him win. Who do you think was the real winner? Have a great week, everyone. Hi, I'm Davis Arthur. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? It would probably be a block of cheese. <laughs> Pretzels, because I love them. Garlic bread. It's got to be my mom, um, not my enchiladas because they're like delicious and I love Mexican food. Then my mom's banana bread because it's good. Subway because it could be healthy for you. Blueberry muffins because they're sweet. Literally. It would have to be tacos, just because they're delicious. I'd say chicken tenders, because chicken tenders are good. I would say cheeseburgers, because cheeseburgers are good. Ramen, noodles, delicious. My name is Dalton Hawkersmith, and welcome to another GMS News Sports Update. On Monday, February 24th, the middle school wrestling team will be at home facing Franklin starting at 5.30. On Tuesday, February 25th, the 7th grade girls basketball team will be at Franklin Middle School starting at 5.30. The 8th grade girls basketball team will be at home facing Franklin starting at 5.30. The middle school swimming team will be at Clark Pleasant Middle School starting at 5.30. And the middle school wrestling team will also be at Clark Pleasant Middle School starting at 5.30. On Thursday, February 27th, the 7th grade girls basketball team will be at home facing Paul Hadley starting at 5.30. The 8th grade girls basketball team will be at Paul Hadley starting at 5.30. The middle school swimming team will be at home facing Speedway starting at 6 p.m. The middle school wrestling team will be at home facing Franklin starting at 5.30. My name is Dalton Hawkersmith, and that was the sports update.